Hi, Mary from Reviewer's Diary. This truly is going to be box a month. Um, it is Beauty Box 5. Beauty Box 5 is a $12 a month subscription service. This is what the boxes look like. One of these is the April box and the other one is the May box. And honestly, I'm not sure which is which, so. They come with these cards. They don't say a whole lot. Oh my goodness. This is not April and May. This is the December box. Huh. I guess a lot of people are saying, oh yeah, they sent the previous month for free, and so I just made the assumption that yes, indeed, it was the fact. I'm just now looking at these boxes myself. I see a knit cap on somebody, and I'm like, this doesn't look like April. Um, this is actually December 2014 box, the first box. That is this box. The other box is the May box. So this is May 2015. So what I'm going to do, since I have two boxes, is I'm going to do December 2014 first, then I'm going to do uh, May 2015. I might end up having June 2015 also if they don't cancel me quick enough. Now one good thing that I do like about this subscription is they do list all the products. However, $12 a month is a lot for basically a lot of samples. So <clears throat> I'll, I'll put all this information down in the description. Okay, so you can look for it there. Now this has some decent stuff in it. Anything that is Belle Pierre is good stuff. Belle Pierre is very expensive now. I don't know if this is sample size. It does not look like sample size. This I believe is um, lip and cheek tint. Let's take a look. Yep, it is a lip and cheek tint. Here's the label on the back. And this is what it looks like. It's kind of sticky feeling. Uh, this is the unsmeared color right here. It's actually a really pretty color pink. Kind of like that. Anything Belle Pierre is good. Um, this is a Coastal Scents um, sample. This is set number 41, Late Taupe Midnight Blue, Cinn Cinnabar Rose, Burnt Umber. Um, really do like these colors. Honestly, I do use these. As you can see, I am hit pan on this thing. This is a revealed um, palette sample, and I keep using it because I love the colors. Even though I have the full palette, it's always good to use up sample products first. So kind of like that. That's actually pretty good. I mean, it's not worth a lot of money, but it's certainly a very nice um, sample to get. Then there's this chapstick. Actually, this is pretty good daytime, nighttime. The daytime version has SPF in it, and the nighttime version does not. I believe that's what the main difference is. I think this probably is like a dollar at CVS or Rite Aid. Um, I also got a sample of this hair stuff, this Novex. I have used this before. It's very nice. Usually comes in a package that has a lot more in it um, than just one pack worth. And finally, the last thing is kind of a neat thing. It's a scraper to get the last bit of stuff out of packages and bottles. I've never seen anything like that before. That is actually like a neat little spatula to get stuff out. Get up to 25% more out of your products. Kind of like this. This is kind of a neat idea. So the December box essentially is a scraper, a one package of hair stuff. Those things usually come in like either a tub or a package with multi, a chapstick, this Belle Pierre lip and cheek tint, which is actually 
pretty nice and might be possibly full size or close to it. Um, this Coastal Scent Sample Shadows, which I really, as you know, since I showed you, I really do like to use these, but it's not worth a lot. Um, and that is it. That is everything in this box. So that is December. Now, I did see May on the internet when I was considering trying this box out. I thought, well, you know what? I can use those tweezers. <laughs> Silly subscribing for tweezers. But anyway, there were other things in, in the box. So here is the May box. And um, all the products, as usual, are on the card. Um, and I will put all the information down in the description bar. And here are the products. Now, this is a highlighting stick. Um, this actually, you know, may not be full size, but guess what? It's like pretty, it's pretty heavy. Oh, and it doesn't twist up. What happens is you pull this up or down. Um, it's very similar to one of the other cosmetics I have. I'm going to try this. <laughs> oh, it's really smooth. Oh, it's really soft and smooth. All right, so this is a highlighter stick. Very, very nice. I like this. This is a very nice thing. Um, I don't believe it's full size. Um, well, maybe. Retail is $5.99. And this might be full size for 0 0.21 ounces and it says for 0 0.21 ounces. Yeah, there are actually two full size items here. <clears throat> now I don't know how they could possibly say this is not a full size item. It doesn't say, it doesn't have like one of those little hearts next to it like the, there are little hearts next to the full size items. This um, <laughs> is something that you would buy at Rite Aid. Um, but it's a nice little tweezer. It looks like it would very easily fit into your travel bag um, because it's inside this little plastic thing. I think it would travel really well. So There are three more things. Um, this is by Ahava. It's called Reborn. I didn't open this packet because I knew I would probably wreck it. Ooh! It has these three oil packets in it, but Ahava is a fairly expensive brand and I have wanted to try it and so I am very happy to have this. There is one little thing, it's light as a feather, Dermalogica, holy guacamole, it's only filled up to here. Um, this is gonna, this is small enough to require glasses. This is 0.24 fluid ounces. Actually, that's not bad. It's called Active Moist. It's by Dermalogica, which is a pretty good brand. I mean, it's expensive. Um, it's a pretty good brand, though, also. I have used their products before. Apply to cleanse skin, basically used twice a day. Now, I will get just maybe two uses out of this. Maybe, since it's only up to here. But it is 0 0.24 ounces, which a quarter of an ounce um, can go pretty far. I know with my Pure Lease, by the way, the best moisturizer on the face of planet Earth. <laughs> I just put a pea-size amount in my hand. Um, it's expensive, but it lasts forever. A pea-size amount does your entire face. So I'm hoping that this Dermalogical will be pretty much the same. Why are you meowing, Jack? What are you doing? Here. Well, Jackie doesn't want to jump up in my lap, but he'd much rather meow, 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 meow. All right, and this is a Coastal Sense brush. I'm always happy to have another cosmetic brush. Um, this is very soft. This is sort of shaped like a blending brush. Um, I do have a blending brush already, um, but this actually, I don't have a lot of brushes like this. This actually would be pretty nice. 
get right in that crease there. So <clears throat> now my cat's going berserk, but I love him, so I can't make him stop. <laughs> um, so this actually is pretty good buff. So I got the brush, um, the Dermalogica, kind of a tiny sample. Um, the highlighter, which did stroke on really nicely, felt really good, and the tweezers, and the Ahava sample. Now, if you're considering this box, remember it's $12 a month. Now, I probably got about $20 worth of stuff here. Um, so the return on the amount of money that you put out is not that great. Thank you for watching and if you like this video give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and thank you and have a beautiful evening. Good night.